I'm from Burma, I am 30 years old now, I think. I escaped from Burma to Thailand when I was around 6 years old. I have two daughters and I've been in the United States for more than two years, two and a half years in Des Moines. I am my language Irish worker. I work for Des Moines District School. Where like in refugee camp, it's maybe safer than in the Burma, but stay hard. You have no chance to travel or work or study higher. So it's kind of like saying in prison. I feel like you have no freedom. For me, I've been there and I grew up there for 20 years. I married over there. Even my kid was born over there, but my kid can never be Thai CDC. So it's no way for me or for my kids to get freedom to go over there. I was moving, oh, I want to travel around the world. I want to have freedom, like that. That's my <laughs> hope. <laughs> yeah, now, like, you can go to United States, but you have to go to this and apply this. My husband had to let's stay behind, so. I'm not happy, but we just decided to go here. My plan, I, I hope before like I had, I go to America, I will get some more education, something like that. But when I arrive, I don't know where to go and where what to do. My community, so many family, like ninety percent that the language vary. I found so many family, almost a lot, almost all, they stay, stay had a lot of challenges. Everyone want to start a one better life in the United States. The problem that they have young children and who going to take care, even someone take care for them, then somebody need to teach them how to use the bar, and then when they re register for ELC, please understand refugee situation, they need help a lot. I always uh, compare like with the refugee who came here like 10 years, 20 years, like Laos or Vietnamese who came here, they like are the same as us, or maybe worse than us, you don't know, they like are the same as refugees, the same of us, but now they've been here after 10 years, 20 years, they like are the same as other Americans. If you keep going, never give up, then we will have chance to get success. My name is Iris Tom. Uh, I have three kids. All of them are sons. Um, I've been in America only four years. We came here without, with nothing, right? New from this country is hard, hard to communicate. Hard to travel. We arrived 23rd of July, and um, I think 7th of November, my husband have to go to work, and we stop everything. I can't sleep the whole night. The whole night, maybe almost a week. They said we got the job. So we have to support by ourselves. We have to pay. We want to, and we have to do. We have to pay too. We know, but between that, yeah, we don't have. We didn't get any check yet. That's the problem. But now I'm okay. That's why I try. I, I try to get a job. Yeah, that's why I want to support my husband. I want to support my kids. I want to save a little money. I work at a primary stun company at um, Meats Production. I wake up every morning 
and I prepare and cook a little bit and prepare myself. For four o'clock, eight minutes, I left home. So my my job starts five o'clock every morning, and then at three thirty, and then yeah, I come home. I come home. I have to take care of my kids and cook for them and uh, take them shower and clean. And also, I want to help my community to you know if I am the one who can who can speak nothing, who can communicate with others, maybe I got problem too. That's why I yeah I put I put in my heart something like this, a little bit by bit and step by step. We are like our life is improved. Yeah, yeah. Uh, for the future in this country, maybe no. Not for me. We plan everything for our kids.